Hello, hola, ciao. I am Princess Zilke. I continue previous video. This is what? I am sweet. Yes, I am. I am smart. Okay. I am very intelligent because I observe so much as well. I came with what? I have been taking care of people around me all my life. Yeah, my stepmother for starters, but also other people. Because I grew up in institutions. Before elementary was one kinder after next. And then was that, and then now I'm at the halfway house. Before the halfway house, I lived three and a half years in crazy lane. Yeah, it was her and her alcoholic boyfriend. Yeah, the one who beat me. He was derailed. I identified that too. Uh, she was somewhat sneaky motherfucker. Yeah, he was not able to be... She wasn't an assertive person. He didn't know. He would make stuff. It doesn't matter. He was just derailed. Because he was silent, you couldn't really notice that right away. So in the halfway house, yeah, interesting enough, I remember Eddie's name because I don't know the names of the uh, people I lived. I, I was the only person who had a job, but it wasn't a job. I was I was at school. I was finishing my high school. No one had a job. No one because they were not able. They were mentally disturbed to have a job, to deal with actually facing other people. There was no, I don't know, it was not aid. They were, they were not aided. They needed aid. I talked to Stefan because he talked to me. He was the clearest and the sanest person of them all. Or maybe the only actually sane person I saw. He stole a few cars to have joy rides. And then he stole a stereo system out of a, of a Macy's, so to speak. Yeah, he put on the... I'm, I mean, I'm smiling about it, honestly. I smile about it. He put on a kittle. Not, not from people, but that was maybe his first, right? He put a kittle on. A work robe and uniform from the store. Yeah, just a robe, like a doctor's robe. And he would walk in with a friend and would carry them out by the... <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh about it. He told me. Oh no, he was mean too. He also stole old ladies' handbags. But maybe at the time I didn't understand how mean old ladies are. Yeah, quilting ladies. No, he would go to the restrooms. And in Germany, you have a klinke. You have to, a handle, which is not a knob like here. You have a handle. So German women used to hang their bags on it. So he would go in and he would put the handle down. He couldn't open the door, but the handle would go down. So the bag would fall on the ground. He would grab them. That's mean. That does make me smile. No, but the other one doesn't. <laughs> we go to a warehouse like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh about it. so idiot. <laughs> Maybe, I wonder how he got his drum set. I never asked. <laughs> but, you know, he was just about to become an international delinquent because uh, he was intelligent. Yeah, he had rhythm too many. So that's not working out well. I remember the tall, I just described the dummy, a tall one, his name is Bernd. But the other one, the other one with the house enchanted, that was like an happening that he actually talked to me. Because those were afraid to talk to another person. He talked to me. Oh, and, and the group meetings that called me arrogant. I think even the pedagogues called me arrogant. I told you why. Because I was just watching. I don't engage in the drama. You have no idea what goes on in those meetings. Well, I don't do it. The pedagogues were disturbed too. There was Maggie from south of Germany. There was Christina with whom I lived. Yeah, I was just about to get raped because of her little guests there. I did not. It didn't touch me, but not the slightest. 
And then there was a guy and another woman, but the woman came from a different place. I think there were more than one house in Hamburg. I think there were like three in total. But the guy, yeah, he, but he didn't come to the group meetings. So what was that, a special event? So, the question is, we went to Italy together in the group. Oh, there was an event organized, of course, with the Etsia. I don't remember ever having talked to anybody at all. Everyone was living in that little bubble there. We had 60 marks, like $40 a month. We had to buy food with that and, as I said, cotton pants. I barely ate because I couldn't store any food. I must have bought one, one something so I could affirm it. Because if food started in the fridge, someone else would take it, period. Yeah, I, I lost weight, I went ill, no one noticed. Yeah, it happened to be that Helga called me. That didn't happen very often. So she rescued me there. 